We now take a look at uh, problem solution 9C, number 1, which is the ballistic pendulum problem. Uh, in this problem, a bullet of mass M is shot into a block of wood, uh, mass capital M, lowercase m for the bullet. As a result of the collision, the bullet and block swing up to some height H. In this problem, we're going to use both conservation of momentum, and that's going to be in this part. And that will give us the initial speed of this block bullet combo. Once we know the initial speed of the block bullet combo, we can use conservation of energy to figure out how high. Or if we know how high the combination swings, we can figure out the speed of the bullet. And that's the problem uh, we're asked to do here is to solve for the speed of the bullet before it hits the block as a function of this height and other variables. To do this, we're going to take a look at uh, picture A, which uh, involves a collision, and conservation of momentum is the overriding principle governing what happens there. Remember, kinetic energy is not conserved in collisions. In fact, in this type of collision, when a bullet burrows into the wood, you'd expect a lot of heat to be given off at the contact points. And that means some of the energy of this bullet is going to be given, up, given off as heat. It will not transmit to kinetic energy. But conservation of momentum is a law that is true for all collisions. So we have total momentum of the system before the collision equals total momentum after the collision. Now before the collision, the momentum is just possessed by the bullet alone. So we have momentum of the bullet. We have the momentum of the bullet plus the wood block combo. The bullet has momentum MV. The wood block is not moving. Afterwards the momentum is M plus M as we now have the bullet inside the block times V prime. V prime is the velocity just after the bullet embeds itself into the block because that will immediately slow down as it swings up. So the velocity of the bullet beforehand, which is our task here, will be mass of the block plus mass of the bullet times the velocity of the system afterwards over the mass of the bullet. Okay, although we've done well here, we have to get rid of V prime. That is not one of our allowed variables. Once this bullet is in here, uh, we can rely on conservation of energy to help us with the swing upward. We have total mechanical energy initial equals total mechanical energy final. The initial energy is going to be, let's just write it out, uh, potential energy, gravitational, initial plus kinetic energy initial equals gravitational potential energy final plus kinetic energy final. Now the kinetic energy final is zero because it's come to, coming to a stop. We're going to call this the zero level so we know that uh, potential energy gravitational initial is zero. So the kinetic energy of this co combined system which would be one half m plus m v prime squared is equal to the potential energy which is m plus m g h. Now if we solve this for v prime we can go back to our original equation stick that in for v prime and I do believe we will have a valid answer as we will have m m m m g and h which are all allowed. So to solve this for V prime, we would have uh, V prime squared equals M plus M. Let's see, we can safely cross off the M plus M's. 2 GH V prime equals square root 2 GH. So we go back to the original equation and plug in the square root of 2 gh and we get 
uh, m plus n here, square root of 2, g, h, all over m. So that is the solution to problem number one on assignment 9c. So just take a look at what we did in solving this problem. We used two conservation laws. We used conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. Mechanical energy when it is assumed no energy is lost. Now energy is lost in the first collision. When the bullet strikes the block of wood, energy is definitely lost in the form of heat. Now it's not lost, it's just transferred into heat. The mechanical energy of the system decreases with that heat given off. In the second part, we assume no energy lost in the light wires here, light strings, and therefore we can assume mechanical energy is conserved from the bottom to the top of the swing. So conservation momentum for the collision, conservation of energy for the swing up.